Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys. I was actually, I was going to do like a sit down makeup tutorial at my pink wall, but the table that I purchased a while back to film with won't get steady. Like it keeps just falling apart. So I'm just going to do a chit chat. Get ready with me instead. I let my hair air dry. But I am going to fix it later on after I do my makeup. By the way, this winter has been so rough on my skin. Like usually I'm pretty fine, but it's been making my skin a little drier. Um, only in certain areas, like around my nose area, it's been really dry. And when I wear foundation, it just started looking so patchy in that area. So last night i remembered i had this product right here it's from nars it's called the aqua gel luminous mask and it's really a mask that you put on you remove after 10 minutes but i the way that i use it i've always just put it on at night and slept with it because it's super lightweight like it just goes right into your skin like it's not like a mask where like you see it and it's thick it's just like it's like a moisturizer really so i just leave it on overnight and my skin always looks so good so i put it on last night and I woke up without that dryness. So I'm like, okay, this is amazing. But then earlier this morning, I started getting a little bit dry again. So after I took a shower, I put this on on my skin as a moisturizer and I leave it on and it helps so, so much. So if you have dry skin, I mean, this is kind of pricey because it's from NARS, the NARS skincare, but it's working for me. And I mean, I don't really have like super dry skin. So if you have really dry skin, maybe you'd want to try it out. I think you could even get a sample at Nordstrom. That's where I got it from. I'm gonna see if you like it if not just use products that are like super hydrating or that say that they're for dry skin and you should be fine but this is what's working for me as of last night and this morning <laughs> so next up I am gonna also use a primer this is for makeup forever and this is a hydrating primer because again I am just oh sorry <laughs> again I'm just having issues with my skin getting dry and I never had to deal with that so it's very new to me put this all over By the way, I'm filming at my desk for the first time ever, and I have the lighting from my vanity helping me out. Um, and then later on today, I will go to Target and pick up another table because that one really played me. I'm gonna start by filling in my brows. I need a little mirror. I was so excited to start filming again today. Like I really wanted to do a sit down, like full blown makeup tutorial. But again, that table really played me. So I'm not even gonna go all out with my makeup today. I'm just doing like something like simple, not too crazy so far anyways. <laughs> All right, brows are done. I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting with some Urban Decay Peach color corrector. I don't know what I wanna do with my eyes yet, so I think I'm gonna leave that for last. I'm probably not gonna do anything crazy anyways. So I'm just gonna move on to foundation. The one that I've been using and I really, really love is from Smashbox. This is the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And I have the shade 2.4. Matches me perfect. I haven't been self-tanning, you guys, since the end of November. I have not self-tanned. And I kind of like it. Like, I like my skin tone, which I always just wanted to be tan. Um, but this is working for me. It just makes things so much easier because when I self tan, I have to use like specific products and then sometimes you're like in that in-between phase where your tan is fading but you're not as light still. So I was just having a hot mess of a time finding products that really matched me because I was just always in between. So I decided to stop. I picked up this foundation and it's been working really, really well for me. Another new foundation that I had been trying before was the new L'Oreal one. 
forget what it's called now, but I did a first impression on it last month. And I wasn't like really blown away from it. And then I tried it again last week and I'm even less blown away with it, if that makes any sense. But I think it's because, I don't think it's the best foundation if you have dry skin. And like I told you guys earlier, I've just been dealing with dryness in certain areas of my face. So when I used that foundation, it looked so bad where I was really dry. And I tried like hydrating my skin before and priming my skin and it just didn't work that well for me. But it's not a horrible foundation. Like where I wasn't dry, it looked fine. So if you have oily skin, I think you would love that foundation. Alright, I'm going to use concealer. I'm also trying to find a new concealer. That's not so expensive. I think I'm going to go to the NYX store. Maybe tonight. I should try to go tonight so that I can film with the new products that I pick up. But I really want to go to the NYX store and find some products to highlight and contour and find new concealer and stuff like that this one is from nars it's the creamy concealer i think i use yeah i use the shade custard and i like this concealer but it is pricey and i feel like it just runs out so quickly and i just don't feel like repurchasing it every single time i run out because it's just too expensive I do like to wet my beauty blender to blend the concealer out. I feel like it makes it more like moisturizing. Max has a play date in like about an hour. And I'm very excited for him because he hasn't played with other dogs in a while. And he he's still a puppy. Like he ah. loves to play and I really want him to get that interaction. Is that the mailman? No. I'm waiting for the mailman because I ordered a Fitbit and it's supposed to arrive today. And it's really pretty too from the photo. Like it's like a lavender kind of color and rose gold. I'll show you guys. Maybe it'll arrive while I'm filming and I'll get to show you guys. Even though it has nothing to do with this video. Alright, moving on to a little bronzer. I'm using my Laura Gala bronzer. I'm almost hitting pan on it. Well, I did pan a little bit. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't set my concealer. I'll set it in a little bit. Do you guys want to know what I do when I'm like in a rush or I don't really feel like doing my eye makeup? I literally just take a little bronzer and I put it on my eyelids. Even with this big brush. Honestly, I think this is the eye makeup that I'm going to do. Bronzer eyes. Oh my god, my friend Ada is getting a puppy today. And I'm so excited because Max will have another puppy to have play dates. I'm so excited because now Max will have another puppy to have play dates with. Oh, there's a dog outside. He's barking at it. Okay. My camera stopped recording and I was already putting my eye makeup on. I'll show you guys what shades I use though. Alright, so first I use this shade right here. It's called Sandalwood and I put it in my crease. Then I picked up this color right here. It's kind of like a mauvey pink shade, and that color is called Shy. I and then finally, I picked up this creamy shade right here. It's called Bay, and I use that to highlight underneath my brows. My blush is also from Laura Geller. And what I like about this is it kind of gives you, it's like a built-in highlight. Because it has like a sheen to it. So I love, love using this. I don't think I'm going to do highlight today. You know what? I'm lying. I'm going to do a little highlight. This is the Makeup Forever highlight and it is, it's called the Pro Light Fusion. Damn it, I don't know what it's, what number it is. It's like blurred out but it's the pinky one i think it's gonna look really good with that blush because that blush already gives me kind of like a pinky iridescent highlight so i'm just gonna make it pop a little bit more 
you know, because I gotta go to Max Play Day and my highlight has to pop. This is too much for a play day. I'm like done. This is a really easy makeup look. I just have to put lipstick on. I also have to put mascara on, but I like to put my Fix Plus, like my setting spray, before I apply mascara to my lower lashes. That way it doesn't like get um, that area dirty with mascara because sometimes some mascaras will do that to you. So I put setting spray on first and then I put mascara. Alright, I'm going to do chocolatey lips. First, I'm going to start off with this lip liner from Urban Decay. This is the shade Deep. And then I'm going to use my Sephora Cream Lip Stain. This is the shade called Frozen Strawberry. All right, I'm gonna do my hair and I will be back. What a difference this hair, right? I just blew it out really quick. Literally took me like less than 10 minutes because I have very fine hair, so it's really easy to just blow it out. Also, I let it air dry, so it was pretty much done. I just was taking like the little wave out of it so that it could be like smoother. But the mailman did come, I got my Fitbit. This is the Fitbit Charge 2, and that's the color that I was telling you guys about. I know nothing about it, so I'm not gonna go into detail now in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what I got. But I am gonna hop on over to Snapchat and talk about it as I open it. Um, so, I mean, by the time this video goes up, the Snapchat will be disappeared, but uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you guys wanna know anything about it, just literally go to the Fitbit website and look up the Fitbit Charge 2 and you'll get all the details because that's basically all I know about it. That's how I researched it. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just really excited to get back and filming my sit down videos because I really miss doing this. I'm all settled. I'm back on the schedule. I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And in the meantime, you can keep up with me on Snapchat. I snap like every single day. Once again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.